Um, I wanted to sort of talk to you about the uh, the variable introduced to do with this. <laughs> We share one. That's 50 Cent. Not my sort of hip hop. In about 1999, how old was I then? About 19 or 20, I was earning 150 bucks a week, finished a commerce degree, uh, was doing multimedia, and I decided to set up a hip hop magazine earning 150 bucks. Um, seemed like a good idea at the time. Within a couple of years, we were full collar, uh, bonus CD ROM, globally distributed through Tower Records, and I never slept. Um, we launched the website in 2000. And here's some stuff that happened last year. I spent 10 bucks a month, maybe an hour, or an hour a month. I really neglected it last year. I'm gonna try and solve that this year. In 2002, we pretty much made the, well, I made the uh, decision to just let it run as a message board because I was working a day job as well. So that's what we've got. It's a relatively small community, but highly engaged, 69 posts per member, about 70% of them have actually, of the members have actually posted something. Very influential, people like uh, Adam, and uh, used to have guys from the Hilltop Pours, Death Fish Cast, all those sorts of people. It's a great little community. I've got a free t-shirt if someone can tell me who this is. That's Dr. Dre. Two or three years later, he was in a group called Niggas with Attitude. One of the key things when you're getting involved with the community, either as an individual or as a marketer, you have to pay your dues. Credibility can be earned, but it can be really easy to lose. You have to work hard and overinvest yourself in that community. Influence, big topic among the social media. Really easy to misunderstand. Just because I'm big and loud and I've got heaps of people behind me doesn't necessarily mean that I'm a positive influence on the world. King of the kids. I met a lot of these guys when I was about 19, 20, uh, doing radio. They were often 35-year-old graph writers with 15-year-olds hanging around them. Look loud, look scary, not constructively influential. Influence takes time to understand. Uh, anonymity is antithesis to community. If you hide as a brand or as an individual, um, you cannot have good relationships and have good community interaction. And um, I've got some diagram porn. I'm a big fan of diagram porn because diagrams make things true. I believe that accountability in community drives authenticity. I put my name to something, even if it's my online persona. You know where I live, buy records, I keep it real. We relate, we become a crew, we hang out, we become uh, an engaged community. Next. <laughs> Usually I do this for six beers. Um, beef can help build healthy communities. Conflict, just like in times of war, but online can bring people together. They spur new ideas. Uh, drama and conflict, as long as there's no physical threat, hip hop happens, um, can be okay. Funny story, academic wrote a, a book about Australian hip hop, got this on the message board, Beef. 2004, journalist wrote about hip hop, uh, Beef. Journalist comes back, sees the article, writes a 17 page article about the social hierarchy on our message board. Plenty of people got involved, still got called a, uh, a bunch of different names, but he stayed around for the chat. Um, the other thing to realise is that running a community is not about you. If you're a marketer or a brand, it's about other people. It's not about you, you're a facilitator. Get out of the way, pass the mics to valid cipher. Because groups of people, I really believe this, have a collective mostly optimistic rhythm. Message boards are good, positive, negative, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that graph proves my point. <laughs> <laughs> and because they're mostly optimistic, you can find the other good people there, promote them, let them moderate, whether it's in real life or online, and let them self-regulate. A swing to the severe negative, like a graffiti beef with 30, 35 girls pretending they're gonna bottle each other, will correct itself. 
Step away from the computer. You cannot build an online community without having an offline community. Offline interaction builds online interaction. It's about people. It's not about keyboards and technology. We've done a ton of events over the year. Um, they're great for content opportunities, creating shared experiences, consolidating that, that community that you have. It's really important. Okay, so seven points. Take what you want out of them. Uh, the last point you're going to have to read for yourself. It's uh, I dug this interview up a few weeks ago. It's Flavor Flav. I interviewed him for about three hours in uh, 1999. It's the truest thing for everything everybody here is involved with. Who said heaps of words that work on a screen? <laughs>